sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence. Okay, I think this is going pretty well so far. I know, they seem so nice. Yeah. I think this really has the potential to be a real friendship. I know this is going so much better than I thought. Well, except the whole gluten-free thing and you made banana bread. I said I was sorry. Is everything okay over there? Uh, oh, yes, uh, you, you, we're fine. It's really fine. Yeah. Okay, it's decision time. Which game do we want to play? Settlers of Catan or Exploding Kittens? Well, one is really fun and one is really strategic. Well, what kind of people do you think that they are? Do they even like games? Well, let's just flip a coin. You know, people wonder when you truly know for certain that you're an adult. And, and I think it's the first time you feel like it's literally impossible to make new friends. Look, I, I know that some people have a harder time making friends growing up than others, but it's like when you're younger, you're just, you're with people your age. They're everywhere. They're at school, they're in the neighborhood, they're at church. You don't have to make much of an effort. But then one day, they're not anymore. Suddenly you have to put forth an effort if you want to see people. What I'm saying is introverts, don't worry, it gets better when you get older. <laughs> see, when you become an adult, you don't just call up another adult like they do on the show Friends and say, hey, do you want to hang out? It becomes much more complicated. There's, there's just more to consider. Like, is this a good use of my time? I work today. Is this really how I want to spend my evening before I inevitably have to go spend another eight hours of my life at work tomorrow? So there's more pressure once you're actually hanging out. It's just an added weight to it, you know? And, there, and there's no promise that you'll see these people again. You could blow it. Hey, how much longer do you want to stay? I don't know, like half an hour? I kind of wanted to watch some Netflix before we go to bed. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Uh, well, earlier they were flipping a coin, but now it looks like they're praying. There are just so many excuses not to hang out with people. I mean, people get married, which means that you have to connect with not just one person, but double the people now. It's a big jump. And then people start having kids, which means you'll never see them again, unless you have kids too. So let's start having babies. And there just aren't that many places to meet people when you're an adult. So, unless you make a concerted effort to put yourself out there, Netflix will slowly cradle you to your grave one lonely night at a time. But making a concerted effort feels weird because again, it's hard to just call someone up and ask if they want to hang out as an adult. You feel like you need some excuse to justify it. I, I can't explain why it's this way, but it is. Hello? Oh, hey man, uh, we would, you know, we're wondering if maybe you guys wanted to hang out tonight. Oh, uh, why? Is something going on? We don't have any friends. Oh, uh, that's sad. Uh, sh sure, sure, we'll come over, sure. Oh, okay, great. Boy, that hurt. But that sure did work. Obviously, there isn't an easy fix to this problem, I know, but I have three suggestions that might help make friendship easier once you hit the adulthood stage. One. You have to find people who have common interests. When you're young, you can just hang out with anyone. When you're older, it requires more effort to stay friends with anyone and thus you need some common ground. So find a group that does something you enjoy and get plugged into it, okay? Get plugged in. Church, that's a church term I feel like. Number two, you have to actually put forth some effort here. Friendships are not going to fall in your lap as an adult. That's the hard truth, okay? You have to work for this now. Look guys, friends come in three forms. You have friends, these are the people you know. You have good friends, you, these are the people whose company you really enjoy. And then you have best friends, and that these are people who you don't have to worry about what you're gonna do when you hang out. You're not really scared to eat in front of them. These people become much more rare the older you get. So if you find people that you can connect with, hang on to them. Work at it. Make it a priority. Okay, and number three, this is the best advice of all, okay? Patreon.com slash Blind Cow. That's a joke, but it's also not because you'll actually make lots of great friends. I know we have. Wow. Wow. It's true, though. Stay tuned for bloopers! You know, guys, the only thing harder than making friends
is making a website. It's confusing, time consuming, and it's stressful. But that's why I love Squarespace because they make building a website not only easy, but actually fun. Their templates are not just good, they are award winning and they have one for whatever you're trying to do. There's 24 seven customer service if you ever need any help. And you can now transfer your third party domains to Squarespace. Another nice thing about them is that it's an all in one platform, which means that they do it all. Domains, websites, online stores, marketing tools, they are your one stop shop. So are you ready to start a website? Make it with Squarespace. Do what we did and head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash cow to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash cow. It's America's number one comedy, adults. Watch as these four lovable losers try and navigate a game night. It's the show critics are calling fun, relevant, Hip, edgy, groundbreaking, a good time, hip, a good time, four stars. Don't miss out on the number one show, it's called Adults.